Well, U.S. Defense Secretary James Mattis has urged Congress to grant a waiver to countries such as India that will otherwise come under the American sanctions under a new American law that intends to target Russia. Now, the waiver that he sought was from punitive actions under the Countering America's Adversities Through Sanctions Act that was passed by the Congress in the year 2017 and went into effect in January. Now, it also seeks to punish Russia for military intervention in Syria and Ukraine for meddling in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. I want to turn now to a question that uh, Senator Reid raised about the Countering America's Adversaries Through Sanctions Act and the specific point about a uh, national security waiver. As you uh, mentioned, the two specific countries, India and Vietnam, that have legacy Russian systems, they might face real challenges going cold turkey, so to speak, under CATSA. <laughs> so you're suggesting the uh, uh, national security waiver as a way that this Congress can empower soon-to-be Secretary Pompeo to address the concerns that you have with those two countries. Is that right? That's correct. And there's other countries. Uh, uh, Indonesia, for example, is in the same situation, trying to shift to more of our airplanes, our systems, but they've got to do something to keep their legacy military going. How urgent is it that Congress pass that kind of waiver? Sir, every day uh, Russia is in a position uh, basically to checkmate us uh, with what they're doing. It's urgent. Would, would you recommend that we try to do so in this year's National Defense Authorization Act? Absolutely. Now, the Defense Secretary wants the waiver to be granted to Indonesia and to Vietnam, apart from India. Now, India is currently in an advanced stage of negotiations with Russia for over five S-400 anti-missile defense systems that are worth an estimated $4.5 billion.